Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to play Star Wars Monopoly, the Saga Edition. I'm not really interested in your opinion, Freaky. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I hope you love Star Wars because I love Star Wars. If you're looking for a new channel, to follow during this time, this crazy time that we're all living in. Hey, you might as well give me a like and a follow because I love Star Wars and I wanna to talk to you about all things Star Wars. I'm not a hater. I don't hate on anything, movies, directors, actors, scripts, George Lucas, Disney, like I love it all. I love it all. Stick Star Wars on it. I love it, right? Hey, and it's a nice diversion for uh, you know what we're going through right now. Let me tell you how I typically do games and do board games. Uh, so I find a game that I want, buy it, comes to me in the mail, excited, open it up, look at all the pieces and the cards pop all the little cardboardy, punchy things out of their frames, and then I pick up the instructions. Now, then I go out to YouTube and I Google how to play the game, right? Or tutorial, or, you know, watch it played, right? I wanna watch a video where someone has taken the instructions, broken it down for me, gotten rid of all the extra stuff that I don't care about, and they're gonna just flat out teach me how to play the game. Went out to the YouTube and looked up how to play Star Wars, the complete Saga Edition board game, Monopoly Star Wars. Nothing, nothing, there's nothing out there. You failed me, YouTube, you failed me. There's nothing out there. There's people doing unboxings, like, hey, I did an unboxing of Monopoly. There's other Monopoly games there's other Monopoly Star Wars editions, right? Uh, but nothing for this. No tutorial. So I was a little uh, brokenhearted, a little let down. So I had to go to the instructions, bust the instructions out, read them. So I start reading the instructions, start reading the beginning, you know, set up and all that stuff. And then I realize why nobody has instructions out there on YouTube on how to play this game. Now I know why there's no tutorial out there. You ready for the reason why? You ready You ready for the reason? Because <laughs> it plays just like Monopoly. It plays just like Monopoly and nobody wants to uh, tell you how to play Monopoly. <laughs> there's a lot of rules to Monopoly. But the nice thing about this, the nice thing actually about Star Wars Saga Edition, there are some new things. So don't stop watching, don't stop watching. There are some new things and I still can break it down for you and make it a little easier. All right, let's go. So first off, let me say, if you got the game shipped to you without shrink wrap, you did not get a used copy. Weirdly enough, that is how it ships. Um, it doesn't come with shrink wrap. I have never seen this. Uh, it's universal across the board. Everyone who's ordered this or reviewed this has said it didn't come with shrink wrap. Sometimes uh, that means the corners and stuff on things get damaged, but I got mine from Amazon, so everything's packaged well. I didn't have any problems at all. Amazon has this, I think, for 30 bucks. I've seen it drop down to 26, but it's usually, typically, $30. The other weird thing is after you open it, there's no real place to put everything. You know how some Monopoly games have little drawers, you know, little boxes for like, here's your tokens, here's your dice, here's your, you know, money slots. There's none of that. So it's all just wham, bam, loose inside the box. So this is gonna be one of those games you're gonna have to get Ziploc bags for and put all the things separate into those, or you just don't care. The money is cardboard. The money is chipboard, so it's not gonna shuffle together. And there's really only two types. There's large dollar amount and the small dollar amount, and they're easy to separate because they're different shapes and different colors. So to, to set the game up at the very beginning, it's not difficult. The cards are all the same shape, all the same size, but they're easily uh, identified by color on the back too. So it's easy to separate the silver ones from the gold ones, and you just unfold the board. Uh, the tokens, the game pieces, they're really nice. They're all sculpted, they're metal, they're heavy, they're weighted, uh, they're beautiful. They don't have Boba Fett, which I don't understand. How can you have a complete Saga edition and not have Boba Fett? Uh, the characters you do get though, you get nine, okay? And you're gonna get one from at least every one of the you know Saga movies. So there's Darth Maul, uh, Padme, Darth Vader, Han Solo, Leia, Luke, Kylo Ren, Chewbacca, and Rey. So that's another nice thing. You know, there's a nice balance between male figures and female figures. I think when games like this come out, there's always a smaller amount of female figures, especially for the nerdy type games. So it's nice that there's a lot of girls, uh, female characters to play with. And just like regular Monopoly, you roll the dice and move your player around the board, and you can either buy property or not. Uh, the prices are all a little different. They're a little cheaper 
than the regular Monopoly. Uh, and you're going to roll both dice. The same rules apply as far as rolling doubles. That you know, that's you know, that's the same. Of course, if you land on a property that somebody else owns, you're going to pay them rent. And then there's the option to buy houses and hotels. Except in this game, uh, the houses are tiny little Tie Fighters. I'll show you how big they are. They're very small, but they're really cool, uh, sculpted. Or uh, a hotel would be one X-wing, and so same kind of rules apply. Same rules applies for you know going to jail and just visiting. Same rules apply for free parking. Nothing happens. So those of you who play with weird rules for free parking, there's no rules for free parking. Then there's a couple of new squares on the board. There's no railroads. The railroads are all replaced by a square called light speed. There's four of these, and when you land on it, you simply jump to the next light speed square, which again, makes gameplay go faster and makes people pass go quicker. Also on Classic Monopoly, there's a tax square, right? There's a there's a utility tax, or I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but on this one, it's called trade route tax. And so you land on that, you just pay that amount to the bank. There's still eight colors of property on the board. There's brown, light blue, like there's a, two different colored reds. There's an orange, a yellow, a green, and a blue. And you know, you can own the set. And when you own the set, of course, your rent goes up. And going to the money really quick, the banker is going to give every single player five of each money type. So there's uh, a circle, right? There's a circle credit that's worth 10. And then there's a rectangle credit that's worth 50. So every person will get 300 credits at the very beginning of the game. And lastly, there's two new card types in the center. Uh, Community Chest and Chance are replaced by Jedi Training and Holocron. And just like in... Classic Monopoly, you're going to take the top card and do what it says. All right, so what's the good and the bad? Uh, the good is it's Star Wars, right? It's Star Wars themed. And for uh, a family like mine, you know, we have a couple of different types of Monopoly. We play the real Monopoly game, we do, but it takes a really long time. It's really long and the little, little ones have difficulty with the math and the numbers. But, you know, uh, we have Fortnite Monopoly, we do, and we like that. And granted, it's nothing like regular Monopoly, but it's got a Fortnite twist and you'd expect that. Otherwise, why did I get Fortnite Monopoly if it doesn't have a Fortnite twist? So you want some of that Star Wars twist on a Monopoly game and you get that with this. And so that's nice. And the fact that it's Saga Edition, which means, you know, it encompasses all the Star Wars movies. It's not like a trivia game where you actually get to, you know, use your Star Wars knowledge. So everyone can play this because you don't have to be a Star Wars fan to play it. And it feels very close to classic Monopoly. So it's easy for uh, outside people who've never played it to jump in and get, get in on it. Uh, the negatives to this were, it's weird only having two money types. It means that uh, when you get into things like rent and doubling rent and hotels and stuff like that, money is weird. Only having two types of money, it's, I don't know why they didn't at least give you three or four. Uh, two doesn't seem like enough but because of how uh, little money you get at the beginning and how things cost it does make gameplay go very quickly so if you like monopoly but you want it to go a little faster <laughs> uh and you like star wars i think you'd like this i think gameplay i think last time we played it, it was like 90 minutes 90 minutes so that's about uh what you'd expect as opposed to a normal game of monopoly which takes like four hours all right that's everything i can say about monopoly the complete Saga Edition, Star Wars, put out from Hasbro, Parker Brothers, $30 at your local Amazon. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Everybody stay safe. May the Force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.